Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at steps to fix the printer spooler problems on Windows 11, but this instruction will also work on Windows 10. Okay, let's dive into the steps. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, if a photo, document, or spreadsheet gets stuck during printing and canceling, the print job stays on the deleting state. This is what you do. First, open Start and look for Services. Then open the app. Now we're going to look for the print spooler. We're going to right click on it and select the properties option. Then click the stop button. Now open start and look for the run command. And then we're going to go to this path, Windows System 32 spool printers, and then click OK. Click continue. Now select everything from this folder and click the delete button. Now close File Explorer and now click the start button. And now click the OK button. Now, if you have a print job that you tried to cancel and it was on the deleting state, now when you go back to the print queue, you're going to see that the print job has now been deleted correctly. And now you can try to print that specific document one more time. Now, another way to fix the print spooler on Windows 11 is using command prompt. And to do that, open star and look for command prompt or the Windows terminal. Right click the top result and select the run as administrator option. And then we're going to use these commands. First, we're going to stop the spooler service. Now, with this command, we're going to delete the contents of the from the printer's folder. That's where all the print jobs are stored. And then we're going to start the spooler with this command. And now you can open the print queue app again and you should no longer see any print job still deleting. And that's it. Those are the two ways that you can fix the print spooler on Windows 11 and on Windows 10. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And also let me know in the comments the type of content that you would like me to cover more in the channel. And finally, I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.